Hey, this is, uh, Jacob again, uh, well, I just finished, uh, covering, making this, uh, big CRT into a capacitor. Uh, the trick with CRTs, if you want to make them into caps, is, uh, you coat the front with, uh, aluminum foil. I used, uh, aluminum foil tape, uh, which is really handy and useful. Uh, a number that I've heard for, um, the, uh, voltage tolerance on this kind of a capacitor is about 7 kV, which I found that true in earlier uh, capacitors that I've made, but really that's only because that uh, it will arc over from the side, from the metal part of the tube in the back uh, to uh, the front where you have uh, whatever plate that you have. And uh, so what I've done is I've spaced it out from the side, and this, it, it had arced over there, but uh, I, I removed uh, the little piece of tape that was sticking over too far. Uh, and there's a, you can pretty much count that it's not going to arc through the screen, because it's, uh, really pretty thick. Uh, but I'm getting a fair amount of, uh, capacitance out of this, if I can get my camera lined up. <coughs> I wish you could see that better, but, um, I'm just going to switch it on. <coughs> This is from a 15 kilovolt, uh, 30 milliamp, uh, NST. As you can see, it's a pretty good, uh, spark rate. I wish that I could, uh, calculate what kind of capacitance this has, except that you can't really find a, uh, capacitance calculator for a CRT on the internet. You have to, uh, kind of go by what you get. But I'll try to space these out just a bit. See if I can't kind of max out the uh, the spark length here. Alright, here we go again. The only time it'll really arc over is if that uh, the space between, you know, the front and where the metal part of the tube is, is less than the space between these two uh, contacts where you want this part to go. Now that kills my ears. That's a beautiful spark though. Yeah, anyways. I need about a billion of these CRTs. Which, uh, you know, in fact I'm collecting. <laughs> so far. But anyways, um, as far as these being used in a coil, I don't know, they're awfully bulky, bulky and, uh, if you drop them, they tend to implode, which is not pleasant. If anyone has any ideas of what kind of capacitance that is, then please let me know. Uh, peace.